on this edition of Mere Mortals, I install a new air intake. Helping me today is... Who? I guess nobody. We're playing video games. I can see. Okay. So Dad, I bought a, a high-tech air intake for my car. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Dad didn't want you to get that. He doesn't like when I buy parts for my car. <laughs> Do you, Dad? There's no sense in, in messing with a perfectly good running car. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you, you, delete that right now. Delete it right now. Give me that. Today I'll be installing the Cole Phaser Luftec air intake system on my 2017 Jetta GLI. So for my car, I needed to also buy a secondary intake injection system. Well, it has a secondary intake injection system. So for my car, I had to get an additional filter and adapter for it. So the main thing I liked about this intake over other ones, since I was doing my research, if you watch some of the channels, you'll see that uh, if you buy a cold air intake, that's not got a box, it's just essentially some pipes and then goes into your filter and your filter's just sitting in an open engine bay. Don't do it because uh, it's a performance problem. You're pulling in hot air from inside your engine compartment. With this, it's an actually a sealed box. So as long as it's sealed, uh, you have a better chance of keeping the engine bay heat out. So that was why I ended up going with this one ultimately. To open the air box, a number four hex bit. This one's designed specifically for my car. So it should have the proper holes and mounting screws and points to actually hook it up to my car. So I'm gonna work on taking out my stock air intake. The new one comes obviously with no instructions. I'm hoping that as I'm disassembling my stock system, it'll help gain some clues as how the aftermarket one goes in. So there's two screws on either side that go this way in. So we have a screw there and the screw on that side. So on this one you can see there's a tab here, and on the back side, there was a tab there. So I used the screwdriver to push in through the tab. After I got the top one from underneath, pushed and pulled it released. Right here is my secondary intake injection system. So this comes off and I have a filter now that will go on for this one. So if I remember how to do this, I think you pinch here get these to come free. So it just pulls right off, a little bit of force. So the air box has one screw here holding it in. This one is a Torx 30. Okay, so we're completely disconnected. So the next step, we just need to pull up 
on the air box. There's a grommet underneath that's holding it in. There's one grommet, two grommets. We have replacements for these that came with the new one. This is just a drain line of some sort, and there's actually a sleeve right here down under the headlight and underneath the uh, bumper there. I think that's to drain any water out of it. But this is my stock air box. So we have to remove that bolt back there that's holding up this pipe. It was a Torx 25. Got it. So I made a mistake, I think, by bringing this up. I think I need to go down. There's an inlet right there. That's actually deep underneath. I need to disconnect that, then this pipe's off. Then the last thing I have to do is take off this rubber sleeve, and then now it's prepped and ready for the new intake to go in. The hardest part to date with this job is disconnecting those two hoses. I finally had to pull this all the way up above the engine so I could work. I got a flathead screwdriver, put it under the side there and carefully pushed. And I pushed it, and I'll draw an arrow on the screen, but I pushed it away and eventually twisting and pushing, they released and opened up. Next, I'm gonna be working on getting this rubber uh, connector off. So there's a bottom hose clamp that I'm gonna use my tool to clamp down, hopefully be able to pull it up, and then I should be able to pull this off, and then I have everything ready and prepped for the new intake. So here's what I've done, I prepped it. I have my hose clamp, it's facing backwards with the hope that I can get a wrench back behind here in the space that I have left in the bay. So let's see what happens. So right there you can see, I've seated it all the way down and then I'm gonna move the clamp down over the bottom where I know where it's gonna overlap here. Next, I'm gonna connect those two pieces down there. Hopefully it's just push it on there and it's good to go. Hopefully I should be able to do this without having to undo everything. There we go. That was easy. That one's one way, it clicks right on. So if you'll remember, this post that comes down here that the bolt feeds through, it should be on the back side. So come out from the outer side. It should be on the back side, closer to the passenger compartment. So the secondary intake, you don't have to do anything. This comes off my original air box. I just lined up the groove here and here and pushed on that way and just took a lot of force but did it. Next, I think what we've got to do is bring it down underneath like this. Just like this. So this rubber piece just slid down over top of the post and is set to go. On the intake, there's an extra hole here so you can get a socket wrench through the other side. Now let's hope the screw doesn't fall through there.
of the box, this is where these rubber pieces come up through. And there's a little lip that catches this. So we're gonna pop those up. I think this hole here is to catch any kind of water and let it drain out of here. So I have these two pieces. I'm just gonna put this in and tighten this up. I'm gonna try and make sure that this is facing up when I put it in there. Good, nice and tight. Gasket to go around the pipe here where it comes in so it's not rattling. Now comes the fun part, figuring out how this guy goes on. I'm gonna put in the screws that holds the box shut. They're hex bit number four. Okay, here we go. Let's hope. So far, so good. No engine lights. So I've been driving for a few days with the new air intake in. There's not much of a difference in sound, and that's usually why you do the cold air intake. Uh, as far as performance, I know it's not supposed to really make a difference, but I kind of feel like it has, uh, especially when I'm up to speed already in like maybe third or fourth gear. I'll notice it, uh, it still has a little bit more acceleration than it did before. Um, could all be in my head, but pretty happy with it. Hello? Hey, yeah, so now my car is making this weird buzzing noise. Oh my God. I would take all that crap off of your car, put it back together the way it was, start it up okay. Well, I yeah. see I already threw my old stock stuff away. Oh my god. Oh, well, I don't know what to tell you. You, you probably, every car nowadays, it's not like the old days, points because they're automatically present at the computer's mind, the brain, got screwed up along the way, or there's parts missing that it needs to complete its task. Why do I have to take it to a mechanic, though? I'm a mechanic. Okay, then you figure out what's wrong with it. Hey, Dad? Yeah? Everything worked just fine. I'm just messing with you. Oh, for crying out loud. You know what? Sometimes you really make me angry. Why do you do this? Are you serious? I'm serious. It's fine. It works great. I hope you weren't recording me. <laughs> I was. Bye, Tommy. <laughs> Bye, Dad. <laughs>